Welcome back to Barto Anime Review. This is episode 6, and viewing the 6th episode of Barto, Naruto, Next Generations, the final lesson. Mm, excuse me. This episode picks up right where the last one leaves off. Yeah, picks up right where the last one leaves off, and you have Shino versus Barto, Shikai, and Misuke. And that's pretty much most of the episodes. They pretty much have a big fight, which which is contained as one force. And I should point out, though, this is the second time in the series where it's just, um, well, mo uh, where the girl, the, the female students, basically are absent. Yeah, I think the last time this happened was, I believe, in episode four, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it was episode four, last time this happened. Mm hmm and apparently uh, now Naruto is is now noticing that um, that uh, something is obviously wrong and and of course um, uh, Shino does get free from the dark chakra and apparently Barto is trying to slowly explain to um, Shikai that he can see it but he hasn't identified his dark chakra yet for some reason and it's a pretty good episode. It's a bit of a step up from the last episode because, well, even the last episode, Introduction to Misuke, it's an, it was an okay episode. This episode was actually more, this one actually had action, a lot more action than the last episode because most of this episode was basically having, well, Barto, Shikai, and Misuke running away from Shino. Most of the episode running away from Sinzex. And they came with a brilliant plan to knock him out. They pretty much, like, because Shikai notices that his bugs don't like water. So he gets him sort of confronted with water. But knowing all ninjas in the show, especially in this franchise, all ninjas walk on water. No, seriously, all of them do. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they all walk on water. And, and they, uh, let's see, what else? Uh... Let me think. Oh, yeah. Basically, Mitsuke shows off one of his jutsu, basically his arm jutsu, where he stretches his arms and wraps around stuff. He shows it off a couple times in the episode, which is nice. Uh, the first time he showed it off was when he's rescued uh, Shikai and Baruto from Shino's insects. And also, Shino, for some reason, was bleeding from the side of his face. Yeah, that was not actually explained. Yeah, that's one thing this episode was not explained. I get the reason why his eyes turn red. Because, well, he's been possessed by Dark Chakra. Fine. So, he gets defeated, and he sort of apologizes for what he did. But even uh, Bar Baruto and Shikai know basically he was he was nigh himself. And they took full responsibility for allowing, for basically, for this happening. So, I should also point out in this episode, we all see appearances by... Naruto, for the first time since episode 4, he has my cup up so seeing him, um, uh, Shikahamaru, first time in a little while seeing him, uh, Anko appeared in this episode, though she appeared in the last episode via cameo, uh, Aruka appeared in this episode, and Koronai, yes, Koronai, uh, Yuruchi basically appeared in this episode for one scene, but it was nice to see her, um, I had, I, I forgot to point this out though, she, she looks okay for a woman to look like she's in her 40s, I'd say. Yeah, she looks like she's in her 40s. And she's got a little bit of wrinkles on her, but... Yeah, it's... Unlike, let's say, some of the, bar, the other characters who look like in their... I'd say early thir late 20s, early 30s. I'd say the um, the previous generation characters. That's just my theory. On the matter, because of how old Baruto is. Um... Yeah, almost all the rest of the characters are in their late 20s, early 30s. Aruka, I think, is probably in his 40s as well. Though, he doesn't look it. Not at all. Though, he still has... Though, for some reason, his scar across his face, which still has never been explained. Apparently, it's white. Yeah. Apparently, it was black. It was like, like, like a crease across his face. Now, it's white for some reason. Yeah, that has not been explained yet. Yeah, not much of Aruka has been explained. Yeah, but I don't have a problem with this one, with this with Ruka being here because, excuse me, well he's the principal of the school, so why not? He appears for one scene, and um, 
with Akko, who, yeah, they, they, because she's overweight, they have her eating dumplings. Yes, seriously, that's what she's doing. She's sitting at a desk, and she's eating dumplings. I'm like, really? Can we please have this woman go on a diet? Because she's eating way too much. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they did a future episode where Anko basically just goes on a diet. Yeah. Um. So, overall, this was a very good episode. Bit of a step up from the last episode. And it looks like we, get, we can finally get progression on the whole dark chakra thing. Where Naruto, Shikahamaru, and Shino are going to investigate it. Though, I don't know if Naruto... And Naruto apparently does not know that Naruto knows about it. I don't know, it's not explained. But, yeah. It's a good episode. Next episode is a spotlight episode on Chocho. Yep, Chocho. And apparently she is losing weight. And she's trying to impress some boy. Okay... And the next episode is called Love and Potato Chips. No, seriously, that's the name of the next episode, Love and Potato Chips. And, um, as far as I can tell, aside from seeing, uh, the Purple Hero Girl again, which I still don't know her name, uh, of course, Barto, Shook Armor, basically, in this episode, it looks like uh, a lot more of the character, uh, more of the characters going to appear re re return for this next episode. Um, from what I can tell from the next episode, it doesn't look like they're going to focus on the dark chakra stuff in this next episode because it could be filler but it's nice the fact we have a spotlight on another character chocho maybe we get a chance to see choji next episode that's a possibility we also get maybe we get a chance to see his wife uh corny uh Corini, i think i'd say you pronounce her name Karenai, i think it's a i i don't know if i'm mispronouncing her name the the uh ninja from the from the cloud village who was the chocho's mother yeah, maybe get a chance to see the next episode, just like in episode 3, we got a chance to see uh, Tamari. Yeah, we got a chance to see her in episode 3, so so we get a chance to see uh, Shikai's parents. Maybe we get a chance to see Chocho's parents. Who knows? It's a distinct possibility of, of if we're going to see him next episode or not. But I thought they might be going to, uh, like, after these set of episodes, they might go be adapting the Naruto Gaiden, but... Uh, from the spoilers, I from the stuff I heard, the synopsis for the next few episodes, they're not going to do that. Uh, of course, this ep next episode is going to focus on Chocho, and next few episodes is going to be like exploring this plot thread of the Dark Chakra. Yeah, apparently that's going to be explored over the course of episodes 8 through 10. Uh, of course, that's coming later this month and the start of next month. But yeah, um, good episode. Um... So, like I keep saying in the end of these videos, look forward to next week's episode because, well, Chocho so far is, it's she's just as interesting as her father. Um, but uh, maybe a chance to get some character done with her. That's a possibility. I mean, your father got a bunch of character done in the original series, so having an episode focused on her is not a bad idea to do. I mean, we have seen her show off her jutsu, the expansion jutsu, just, just like her... Yeah, she shows up the the expansion jutsu, which is basically the the family jutsu, which is nice. They show that off in one of the episodes. I believe it was episode four. I believe it was, but yeah, it seems like most of this episode was confined to a forest, with the exception of showing like briefly the school and then of course later showing Naruto's office. But yeah, uh, also no Hanada again in this episode. Yeah, two episodes in a row with no Hanada. Isn't that a little weird? And yet she appeared in the first four episodes, and yet she doesn't appear in these past two. Which is a bit odd. Uh, Naruto himself has only appeared in episode one, three, uh, I believe here in episode four, and he appeared in this episode. So, he appears, and looks like he appears in the, um, uh, looks like he just appears in the odd or even number episodes. Depends basically what he wanted to do. It's always nice to see Naruto, even if he's referenced. But, yeah, because he's the star of the franchise, so why not keep showing him? Okay, so uh, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for next week for Episode 7, 
Love and potato chips. Yeah, that's next week's episode. And I'm looking forward to this one. Yep. So I'll do it. Excuse me. I will see you there. Bye.